guys, guess what day it is? It's Thirsty Thursday. It's Thirsty Thursday. It's Thirsty Thursday. And we are rocking it out at the Shepherdson household. And look yes, what walked yes, in yes. the door. It is the fabulous, awesome, wonderful, terrific, I don't know what else to say, the Hubs. The one and only, the Hubs. Wow, what an Whoa. intro. Wow, what an intro. Hi, babe. Hey, baby. How are ya? I guess you're glad to see me today. Yeah, can I have some money? I would say you must want something. <laughs> I, I seen your video the other day, by the way. What? Don't tell Mike this. Don't tell the hubs this. What's he, what the hell oh, is he talking about? This. What's he talking about? I, I have I, no idea what he's talking about. Lisa, I edit these videos and put them online. I watch them. I see no evil. I hear no evil. I speak no evil. Do you not know I watch them? Do you think I don't watch them? You weren't supposed to see that one. Oh, I should have put it up there as secret mode, so I couldn't watch it. Did you girls tell on me? You weren't supposed to tell on me. Oh yeah, they all did. No, I know my girl. My girlfriends wouldn't tell on me. My girlfriends got my back. They do. They got my back. They, they know how. They know how to roll. They know how to take that crafty stuff, slip it in the back door, put it in between the stuff in the closets like it's nothing. Then bring it out a little at a time. You all don't know the difference. Yeah. It would work except for you do a video on it. <laughs> okay? <laughs> you can't do a video on it if it haven't worked. But back to the question. Can I have some money? Sure, baby. You want to know why? You're going out tomorrow? Well, I'm going out tomorrow. But Michael's is having this fabulous sale. And no, we're not getting an endorsement for this, but they're having a fabulous sale. Have you guys been to Michael's yet? Because they are having a fabulous sale. You did two Michael's hauls in the last, like, three days. You want to know why? Because they have a fabulous sale. Oh! Ooh. Maybe right. Michael's will see this and will say, we're going to have them uh, endorse our products and our Michael's. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? Yeah. That'll happen. You know what? Huh. I've had a lot of caffeine. Woohoo! Well, I guess so. You've had something. I had a little nap and I had a lot of caffeine. Can you tell? And I thought it was just me coming in the door that just made you all vibrant and happy and excited and hyped up. Well, you do. Can I have some money? <laughs> it's over, over there, honey. Okay. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Anyways, how was your day, dear? Did you make some friends? Busy, busy, busy again. It's been... Well, it's been just busy. I mean, it's just crazy, but that's a good thing. I like being busy. It makes the days go very quick. I get tired. You know, it's getting that time of the, the week that I get tired. So do you, but yep. you, you've been busy. You had a little injury. Yeah. I got injured at work. Yeah. Thumb down. Yeah. Took a little slice of life out of the thumb. I was in a hurry. Well, I wasn't in a hurry, but I was slicing and dicing. And all of a sudden, I seen that knife go, and I was like, there it went. Uh-oh. Yep. And I'm a bleeder, so. Yeah, she is. I, it took a little while to uh, um, stop the bleeding. It's funny because um, I work in healthcare, and I can handle anything. I can handle blood of any kind of anybody else's blood, but when it comes to my own, nope, 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 nope. I get faint. I get funny. I get ugh. So I can't look at it. My nurse is laughing at me. She's like, "I'm like this. Just do it." Do what you need to do. Just tell me if I gotta go get stitches or not. I, I kind of, she's kind of faint and kind of funny and kind of uh, most of the time anyway. So, so I don't think it really had to do with the thumb, honey. She was kind of that way. I, I can handle. I just can't handle my own. I can't. I oh, can I handle. Know. I can handle other people's stuff. Yeah, I remember, it brings me up to a story. and I'm gonna tell it. Okay. We this is whew, I don't know. 15 years ago, I have no clue how many years ago. We were living at a house and one of our our kids' uh, stepbrothers was over and there was a little kid playing out and he literally like ran over the little kid that was on a tricycle on accident. You know, that that wasn't 15 years ago, honey. That was like 8 years ago. Uh, I don't know. Whatever it was. But he, I mean, I was watching the window and literally seen the wheel go over the little girl, like stomach area. So I ran out there and stop, stop, stop. He was about ready, you know, typical people do is run back over it again. But anyway, Lisa gets out there. I said, Lisa, <laughs> call 911. Okay, that's how good she is in an emergency situation. <laughs> she says, what's the number? 
Well, I should just freak it out. Like 911. Cause okay. we, I, but back it up there, though. We oh, thought it was our granddaughter. At first we did, yeah. But once we were out there, we knew it wasn't. We thought it was our granddaughter, Tatum, and we were just panicked. And our, and our daughter, I have never heard her scream so loud yep. as that blood-curdling scream when you knew something was wrong. Oh, yeah. And amazingly, this little girl really had minimal injuries at all from it. And Mike had some injuries due to it because Mike went sliding across the cement on his knees. Yeah, because matter. he was, like, trying to get to this kid before anybody else, you know, anything else happened to him. Her. And I, I'll never forget that because his knees were all tore up and bloody. And I'm like, oh, my goodness. And he, but he had, I literally, he went sliding on his knees. Kind, kind of freaky, but it, I'm glad she was okay. I can't believe she didn't have internal injury. I mean, the, the, the tire literally went over her stomach area and nothing really. I think she had a little bruise or something in that area, but yeah. And the crazy, amazing. the crazy thing out of all of that whole situation, because it happened in our driveway and not in the road, we yep. got sued. Yep. We got the crap sued out of us. Yeah, and it wasn't we. Nobody wasn't, from us was driving the car. It was not even our vehicle, but it happened in our driveway. It happened in our driveway, and it was not our kid, and yep. it was crazy. And, and we, even our van that was parked on the street was taken for evidence because. It was near the scene. Right. I never heard of such a thing. But yeah, it was like near the scene. So we couldn't, it was just, we had to go get that too. It was weird. Yep, that was just, the, the whole thing was horrible. And I was like, I cannot believe it. we're getting sued over this. Yeah, we yeah. got sued big time. Yeah, but I'm happy that she was okay. Yeah, she was, was totally was... fine. Because that she had to go to the hospital, spend the night. And she was totally, she, yeah. that could have been some serious, serious, serious damage. Oh, she could have been dead. Most people that get ran over by a car don't come out too good. And then I remember when, uh, of course, the news hounds. I mean, it, they don't oh, yeah. take them long before every news news person in the whole Grand Rapids and surrounding is yeah. there. And because it was it was my our children's step brother, we were like, absolutely not. You're not interviewing him. You're gonna leave him alone. But they would not leave him alone. So yeah. we, as a family, we surrounded him so they couldn't get one single picture of him. And that's just what we did. So, too bad. What it is, yeah. You do what you gotta do. Nothing to be seen here. Yeah. Yeah, just like this video. Nothing to be seen here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, we get on a little rabbit trails, don't yeah, we? Yeah, I, I don't even know what you said. Something that made me remember that. I don't know what it was, but anyway. Blood. Blood, yeah. 911. What's the number? I don't know. 911. Phone was in my hand. Yeah. What's the number? Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. I so, am much cooler when I have to be. Yeah. I was being the cool one at that point because right. she, she didn't have, so she didn't have to be. So Right. I mean I'm much cooler when I ha when I absolutely have to be. I just mm -hmm. it's just when I don't have to be, it just kinda gets kinda crazy. But anyways, enough talk about something so depressing. Let's yeah. talk about what's going on with all you guys. What is the haps going on? What are your plans for the weekend? What's going on? We got kind of a busy weekend yeah, coming up. Sure. Yeah. I'm gonna, got, I'm gonna at church, they're having a little carnival, so I'm going to be the one running the bounce house. Mm. So that comes with a lot of power, you know. Oh, yeah. These little kids, you know, they want to go in the bounce house. That's like number one. So I have to lay down the law for those little kids. Breaking the law, breaking the law, breaking the law. I'm, the law, I'm kind of thinking that, you know, these little kids, it's a free event, but I'm thinking I might be able to, like, maybe pocket a buck a piece. It's for church, Michael Shepherdson. Well, I could just charge him a buck a piece under the table. What do you think? No. 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 I'll, 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 two bucks, and they can keep the shoes on. He's awful. He's awful. He's awful. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And then I'm taking our granddaughter Hannah to her cross country meet because her mom had called and asked mm -hmm. her if I could take her to be there with her to support her because yeah. they are going to a wedding. Yep. Yeah. So they can't be there, so I said, yes, I could be there. And then I was bummed because our oldest daughter, who never asked for help, called and asked for our help mm -hmm. 
um, to come to the house for the weekend, and yeah. we had to tell her no, and I'm so disappointed. And normally, any other weekend would be plans that we could right. change or whatever, but this is the one weekend where we couldn't change our plans. Nope. nope. You know, just, so. yeah, well. It is what it is, and I was, yeah. I was, I was bummed, but it's just the way the cookie crumbles, yeah. so. It'll be another time. It'll be another time, so. So what are you drinking today? <clears throat> I have a little vodka diet. What do you got? I have me some, what do you call this stuff? Crown Royal Apple and Diet. Ew. That's good. It's like whiskey and Coke with a little bit of apple flavor. It's yummy. No. No. That's so, her opinion. Anyways, um, it is fall season. Is anybody into doing anything for harvest time? Do you guys, are you canning anything? Are you going to the pumpkin places are you doing the mazes corn mazes what oh, are you yeah. doing what's going on give me the, give us the details we want to know what you guys do for harvest time fall time yeah i'm hoping the church this year again does it like a corn maze i love them corn mazes yeah you get lost you get lost in them baby. oh yeah oh yeah they, they're fun to do they're they're a lot of fun I, I remember as kids we used to just go into the cornfields without any pass at all and you go in the middle of them you had a hard time finding your way out mm-hmm Mm -hmm. I mean, you you get lost inside of those corn fields. Absolutely. They're huge. Positively. We loved it, but it freaked us out at once we were lost. We're like, what do we do? You know? I know. But we were just little kids. It's... Kids don't play in corn fields anymore, probably. No, they're playing on video games and video this and that, and they don't know how to play. Yeah. It was funny because I um, saw my ex-husband last weekend and um, asked him how our grandson, Magoli, did camping, and he said, huh. He says, never again. I said, why? He says, because he doesn't know how to play. And I'm like, what do you mean? He said, he just was bored and wanted video games or TV and this and that. And I'm just like, oh, boy. And it's true because they don't, if these, there are certain kids that all they want to do is play video games. And it's yeah. like, you know, you got to get those kids off those video games and off the computers and make them go outside and play and play board games and play, you know. Yeah. Go outside. Yeah. Go outside with your kids. Shoot, I used to, when I was a kid, we might have mentioned this on video before, but I was gone in the morning. I came back at night, basically. I mean, that was gone. I'd come back, maybe eat something for lunch or whatever, but I was never inside. Well, because if you got caught inside, you were you you were working. Well, I just just it wasn't. And don't say fun. you're and don't say you're bored. All the kids' neighborhood, but I mean, I, I know things have changed, but now. I mean, shoot, I used to go all over, and then they didn't worry about nothing. I'd go miles and miles away, and it didn't, you know, you didn't have to worry about all these crazies in the world that seems like we have now. Right. You know? We got some crazy people. Mm -hmm. So I understand why they keep them reined in a little bit more. Right. Now than they used to. But it used to be neighbors watched neighbors' kids. I mean, it, I mean, mm -hmm. that was okay. Nowadays, if you discipline or yell at somebody's kid, they'd come after you like, hey, what are you doing talking to my kid that way? Right. You know, absolutely used absolutely. to be you backed them up and just like you backed up people at school yeah you don't they don't do that anymore now it's no. just it's just insane and, and men i feel sorry for men i think that when it comes to men you guys have to protect yourselves yeah completely because you can't yeah. you guys are getting blamed for things that you know you shouldn't be getting blamed for and and you know you can use your own imagination and yeah. you know yeah. rabbit trail rabbit trail again Anyways, but we're, um, we're excited to it's the, you know, Thursday Thursdays and the week's coming to an end. You might work an extra day this week. You're not sure yet. I know. I got to so, call, I got to call my dear friend Gina and let her know. I just, yeah. I'm, I'm tired because I already worked six days this week. Yeah, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You didn't work Saturday. So if I work Friday, it'll be six days. Yeah. But I work 10 hour shifts. Yeah. So I don't know. <clears throat> I I gotta really think long and hard, and because I don't need to be getting sick. No. So I gotta think if it's worth it or not, and if I want to do it or not. And yeah. Your stamina has been getting up there. I mean, it's getting better, but you're still tired when you get get back. I just I had the cement legs today. That really bothered me. They mm -hmm. just drove me crazy. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Yipper yipper. So. That's really about it for our week, I think. You know, it's that's busy enough. Yeah. Um. 
I don't know what else is good. What else? I don't know. I have no idea. Um, Not much. We've been doing our other channel. We've got a few videos on that now for the... Yep, we got one coming up. We're going to do um, our mixology. Mixology by the chefs. Shots, Shots up. up. Yep. And um, we've got a new um, drink we're going to mix. Um, it's called a uh, pineapple upside down cake shot mm -hmm. that our dear friend Lauren Ange um, gave me today mm -hmm. at work. And um, so we're going to try that uh, this weekend. And then um, I've got some friend mail that i got to do. Um, I'm going to do that later tonight. Yeah, i got one from all the way in Australia. Australia. That's exciting. Down under with the koalas. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that they were little koala. Uh, she said koala hugs. Mm -hmm. So it was really sweet. She sent me um, some very special things, and I'm really excited to share yeah. that with you guys. So. Yeah. yeah, look for that coming up next day or so. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, we might have actually maybe see that before this video even. And then we got our big whoa, Halloween Grish haul. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've been getting all the stuff together for that. That's going to be fun. That's going to be a retro. We've got past and present because, like I told you before, um, I did a, a Halloween haul last year, and I never got to put not one item up because right after yeah. that is when I got sick. So. Yeah. I thought long and hard about it, and I think um, we're just going to redo it and add it in with our collection, yeah. and there you go. It's going to be a huge haul. We already have a lot of stuff that's new from this year and stuff that yep. is out this year, too, that we got before, and it's going to be huge. We love doing those. It's just, just it's a fun time. We put nice backdrops and just have fun with it. It's going to be fun. Yep. So, But, yeah, uh, got a friend coming over tonight. Yes, I have to help her make a card for her mom. Yep, they, they come to her for all her card making and scrapbooking stuff because she has, well, she, at least she doesn't have a lot of supplies for it, but, I mean, they they get by, you know, with what supplies she has. Ha! I could open a store. Yeah. I told you guys this last night because I was, if you remember, if you watched my video, I said, I looked around and I said, I think Mike's getting overcrowded. And I need to do something about this. <laughs> yeah, literally, you could open a small, small store. I need, I you know, the thing of it is, is I need to start sharing my stuff, so y'all can keep me accountable, and I'm gonna start sharing my stuff with you guys because I really have a lot of it, and I need to share. You do. You already do that, but I need to share more. Uh, like maybe have a. Maybe a U-Haul truck or something come up here and just... No, I need to have, I need to, I need to, um, I need to, I need to just share it. Okay. That'll, yeah. that'll solve that problem. It's not. What am I going to do with him? What am I going <laughs> to do with him? Anybody want him? I'm sell, sell him to you. How about we start uh, bidding off at a buck fifty? All right. <laughs> Start, start bidding. We'll start bidding at a buck fifty. Let's see how high we can get. All right, comment down below and let's see how much you'll pay for the hubs. I don't think you get too much, maybe. Never know. No. First five hundred takes him. <laughs> She's like, he's out here. You gone, baby. Gone, gone, gone. Replace me with some other hunk of hunk I of love. I put a spell on you, <laughs> and now you gone, 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 gone. You're not right, baby. I am just not right. Not right at all. I'm not left, but I am not right. <laughs> Anyways, so um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I think we should. Wrap her up, right, baby. So, up. Uh, anyways, we're going to wrap her up. We're going to do it like this. We're going to say like, comment, <laughs> share, subscribe down below. We're going to remember snail mail because everybody likes to get something good in the mail besides a damn bill. I know we do. I want you to do something good for yourself so that you can do something good for somebody else. And, yes, I want you to have an awesome weekend. I want you to do something really fun. And, um, hmm, what else do I want you to do? Oh, I know. I want you to be good. Talk to you guys later. Bye.